Hello and welcome back to Vanya's Plays. Today we'll be playing Alan Wake 2. I haven't played Alan Wake 1, nor do I know what to expect from the second game. So all I know is that it's supposed to be like a horror type game. And yeah, I'm going in blind. So let's see. I'm going to play the first hour and uh, we'll see how it goes. Here we go. Here, we're going to go with story mode. Since I'm recording, I don't really want to play it on like a very hardcore mode. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Did he get shot in the head or something? <laughs> okay. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. Oh, damn. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. That is it. That is a really good way to start this fucking thing. What the fuck? That is one hairy person. And why is he buck naked? No, oh, it's an obese naked person. Can I? Oh, I can. Oh, damn. Holy shit. It looks so good. Yeah, the environment looks really fucking good. Oh, I can't run? Oh, okay. All right. Whoo. Man, I swear if something jump scares me. Oh shit. Oh, those look like headlights. Oh, what the fuck? They're, okay, they're people. They're not even headlights. Hey, I'm here. Hello? I don't know if they saw me. What was that noise? I don't know if they saw me. Maybe they flashed their flashlights straight at me. Oh my god. Can't get another. Look at this. Look at this grass. Look at these leaves. My god. Is this Unreal Engine 5? I didn't really see. Oh, it's Epic Games Launcher. So maybe they have their own engine. Oh my god. Whoa. I heard something, I swear I heard something. Yeah, no, I still can't sprint. Or anything, I guess. I just, I can just, oh my, okay. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it was coming.
Yeah. We're gonna be expecting a lot of that. Oh my god. Sounds like an animal or some shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that? Okay, so that's just grass. Oh, I can finally sprint. Okay, I'm hearing wolves and shit. Oh my god, that's not even... That doesn't even make a difference! He's not even sprinting. He's just like... Waddling. What the f... f Watch, he's gonna fucking jump scare me again. I know it. to run away from them uh okay what the fuck was i supposed to oh my god okay Okay, I see. Those guys with the flashlights got spotted. Who was this fat guy? Oh, uh, maybe, maybe that's the mystery we gotta solve. I don't know who the main character is, but... take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault people get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you, too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town feels like the killer's leaving us a message well, i'm guessing that wasn't the first guy to die then with me anderson it's right up your alley you should take lead 
think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be wow. to the Wow. Seamless scene. transition from the cutscene to the, so where's the, deputy? the game. Eaten by a bear. I'll check out that map. Invitation. Okay. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. So I guess I can open the map. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. Oh wait, my bad. Go take a look. Oh, what the hell? This guy blended in with the environment so well. Sheriff Breaker said you Oh, it's a sheriff. Over the case. You're half right. FBI. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that you know that uh Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, waiting. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. No, I like how she was looking at him as we were walking. Like how Before a real person would scene, do. There's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. You can access the case board inside the mind place. Wait, that is, is that? Oh wait, do I have to? What the fuck? The mind place, my version of the mind oh. palace technique. Oh, you gotta swipe the on the touchpad. Building the mind place again for each case, using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Yeah, that's what I was. Oh, and I can zoom in and out. Okay. Okay. So if I go with like that, the previous murders confidential. Okay. 
series of murders have uh, occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help our search for the killer. Murder method. Slight difference in murders, bloating only commonality in the bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma, exposure to water, post-mortem. So they're always bloated. Bruising on the wrists and legs. Deep gash in the chest. All bodies experience bloating. Killer's profile. Tattooing of the body. Murder targets have no common traits chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques oh also these are all the victims missing in 2010 ted lane dentist wendy davies teacher percy wolf store owner so i guess that's all we have so far and then Oh, okay, that's how you access the map. Okay, so we're here. Okay, the murder site's over there. Which is hot general store, which is ladle. Yeah, I'd say that's a decent size. Oh, you can zoom in and out. Oh, it has this weird effect. Like a motion blur effect. So the goal is get to the crime scene, meet Deputy Thronton at the general store. Okay, so yeah, we keep continuing down and then I believe we could go that way. I believe I don't know if I can walk. Oh, that's the river. Never mind. Yeah, so we got to Okay, awesome. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Oh. Damn, that's a pretty big map. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. It's too much sky. So we can sprint, okay. Hey, Casey. No, oh, I can you feel the footsteps. Oh, what the heck? Look, Anderson. Oh, these are the rental cabins over there. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm hmm Real funny, Anderson. Buddy's gonna die <laughs> seeing that shit here. You okay to jump down? I'm not that. <sighs> Mirror peak. I believe it's Oh, wait, no, it was on the map. Fuck. Okay, it is blocked. Cauldron Lake. Not a bad place to get murdered. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that general store. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on. Oh, there. so okay, if I pressed Okay, if I pressed left on the touchpad, I can access the menu directly without having to go to the mine place. Hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. 
Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob? You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Gordon, he's joking. Let's just see this body, shall we? Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Certainly does. Step one. Examine the corpse. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? I think not. Placing a key image on the caseboard begins a new line of investigation. When the key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable at the caseboard and your goals. Okay. Another body, consistent murders with the previous murders, can I? Oh, okay. All right, I understood. So yeah, we're gonna have to examine the body now. Oh. There's a heart on the table. The left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. And then the chest wound. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. So I guess we can now put the photos. Okay, I see. That's not right. Wait, can I not place it? Oh, heart removed from chest. You have to go to the main. Definitely thread where it um, extends from the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Hmm. Oh, new stuff. Okay. You can check and update the goals by pressing. Okay, learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. All right. Murder watches. Pref. Wait, what? Murder watches prev case oh previous cases but interrupted may find some new leads this time. Major chest trauma, okay, yeah. The victim and the killers, okay. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Oh, so going in the mind place doesn't pause the game, so I can't just go to the mind place while being chased or some shit. Okay, okay. Well, I already examined it. Wait, Large is that it? Of blood on the table. Okay. The victim died here. Footprints. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Hmm. Okay, there's a fourth one over there. I just don't want to walk over the evidence. No? A tripod? Someone left in a hurry. Knock the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Nothing else. Okay. So, all right.
believe this could belong to the killer. And then... And the victim. Keep trying. Oh. I wonder why it went there. Indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Okay, I see. I see. It, it seems like it's a messy scene and not premeditated. That's why the question marks and that's why the killer's question mark. Okay. For later, for later. Huh. Okay. So... Am I missing something? Okay, I can't talk to the guy. Oh, there we go. The victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. The f he what? Came down about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, FBI. Until now. Hmm. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Clues can be discovered by speaking to people as well as by examining your... Okay. I believe I have ray tracing turned on. Yes, because it's quality mode. Okay. I can't really... So I can't talk to him anymore. Maybe perhaps I can. Yeah, no. Can't. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Okay, so I guess we can go back to the case board. Clues. Casey Nightingale went off the deep end. Okay, so I can put this one in the, um, yeah, the victim. There we go. Trust Casey's raid on people. Sounds like our victim wasn't mentally stable. Okay. Awesome. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI. Came victim ID. Wait, so. Wait, what? Oh my god, okay. Premeditated or spontaneous. There we go. That's where we put them. Okay. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Maybe he got fired in why connection to this? Why now? Yeah, but why 13 years later? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Oh shit, okay. The mind space is like an apartment almost, like... What the fuck? What is that? My first ever prank on Casey. A oh. Classic. Can I... Can I not... Oh. 
so I guess I can look at it. Okay, yeah, there we go. Right here. Okay, I can. Okay, the map and then the board. All right, profiling. Wait, what's this? This mug always cheers. Not me the up. worst mom. Oh. Using her intuition, a sa saga can discover new clues by uh, profiling people's interest. Uh, people of interest. Okay, ritual murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Flick the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. Talk to him. What kind of profiling is this? Violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Okay. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. Is this all in her? This has to be all in her head. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert what the fuck? From the lake before his murder. Oh, wait. So now what? What do I do after profiling? Oh, okay, maybe I go back to the case board. I like the concept. It is like we're an FBI uh, agent ourselves, you know? Nightingale came from the cauldron, like... Hmm. Oh, I can go straight to the... Okay, awesome. Investigate the crime and check the lake shore. Oh, okay, all right, all right. I see the game is not gonna spoon feed you stuff. You're gonna have to check. Somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Okay, he's leading the way. Right. Right. Okay. Oh wow, the ray tracing looks awesome. Look at that. Real time reflections and everything. So I am I am playing at 4K, um, 30 FPS I believe. But I'm recording and outputting it in 2K 60 FPS, so it'll be much smoother for you guys. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. No, oh, you can climb the up there, I see. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. Oh, what the heck? Creepy, though. What is that? Tracks. Barefoot. Not okay, so that's that's the victim. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Early read it. Oh my god. Not the last. It's almost like they don't want us to read it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it is raining, to be fair. A page so. Full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out. Are we gonna get jumped or something? Mm -hmm, like a manuscript. Page of story. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. 
Someone knew they were here. Someone what the fuck? Game with them. Is that Alan Wake? Week? How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left. Oh, yeah, I can see the footsteps now. I should profile Nightingale about this page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. He must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale, gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page, the first page that they had found, not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths, secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message. Was a message. Someone knew they were here. What they were doing. Someone playing a game with them. Leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept? The sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them. Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. He came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Oh my god, don't tell me I have to like... Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do... what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. Is it just me or did the... The colors changed. You made it back. Good. Okay, I thought something was about to happen. Those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. What no, the problem. fuck, Deerfest? Oh, and sure, okay, I'd see, that's what I thought. We're going to do it ourselves. In town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill.
Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Watch something happen at this fucking shortcut. Oh my god, I have a gun. Can I use the gun? Seems like a nice town so far. No, I can Inside. zoom in and stuff. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Oh shit. It's coming together. Okay, so I believe... If I open up the map... Okay, uh... Wait, what? I think I went the wrong way. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's right there. Oh, damn, what? Okay, so we entered over there and then. Let's okay, back to awesome. Town and meet the sheriff at the diner. A little bit of driving? Is there driving? Oh, okay, never mind. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. Hey, fair enough. Maybe they're just trying to focus on you walking and stuff. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Oh boy, I hope you don't regret it. Oh my god! Need to swing by the lodge to get anything Dude. to the field office? I'm all set. I'll Look how good it is! I wanna walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. This is crazy! It feels like I'm playing a fucking TV series about like detectives slash horror slash psychology. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Oh, it's right there. There we go. So, interview the witness at the diner. Oh, okay. Just down the street. Okay, what the heck? Okay. I see. They have a thing about deers, I guess. Yeah, the deer fest. Oh, damn. Oh, there's the sheriff. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I just can't get enough of this. This game looks so good. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. The hair, no, the no. the jacket, the wrinkles, this is even the details in his shoes and keys and his and uniform. Say, you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Oh, the two Morgan people. The still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. 
We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Can I take a seat or no? Okay. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. Now, is it okay to talk about stuff like this in an open diner? What makes you say it was a cult? The masks and knives aren't enough. Damn, their expressions are on point and everything. Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found a... What the, the whole thing was Whoa. terrifying. That's all. Okay, okay, I see what happened. Okay, it's profiling. I guess when, when you are looking at them, interrogating them, talking them, uh Saga is basically you know putting down certain things that you observe, like how she reacted while asking a certain question, how she almost stopped the guy from answering or talking more. So stuff like that will be taken into consideration and then we will be profiling them in the mind space. Damn, yeah, this is this feels more like a like a high level detective game. This is pretty interesting. What were you doing at Colgen Lake? There we go, yeah. Final right. question. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake getting some details. Famous novelist Alan Wake. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The fence was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. Oh, wait, okay. Like, I get that she's doing that, but then... Like... Is it... How, how do we know that it's legit, you know? Like, this is all in her mind space. Is this for a fact, though, or is this just theoretical? I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. Okay. All right. to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. I see. So this is proof that her profiling works okay yeah never mind because i was wondering that would they show something like that and evidence to prove that she can actually do all this you know and it's not just in her head We'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. 
How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was always- Dungeons and Dragons, eh? Sheriff, looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. All right. It's so beautiful. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take a person. But why would she say that? And why would she know her name? That's weird as fuck, man. Hey, boss. Corpse is I'd be creeped out, to too. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the ASAP. Way, oh, this is the bright we gotta take there a look at this body ASAP. Just, uh... Let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Have a nice day. Oh, damn. Their footsteps are quieter and everything. Carpet, man. They, they, they put a lot of details into this game. I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Why is it so dark? Yeah, I was gonna say, what the fuck? Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Oh my god. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? There's writing on here. What the I fuck? Did they out. tattoo shit onto a heart? How'd they manage that? Yeah, what? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. Oh yeah, he did come out of water. Maybe he they threw him out. in the water? This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Oh yeah, there is text there. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Oh. Uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Damn. Maybe I can put some stuff. Wait.
We're dealing with an organized group of killers. Oh, so you can close previous cases and stuff. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. What the fuck? Okay, lady. I mean, you are an FBI agent, I guess. That's, that's what it goes through your mind, I guess. Exciting? What the fuck? I mean, yeah, they, they got to deal with like all kinds of fucked up shit. So I guess, yeah. All right, so that case is solved. The cult of the tree, right? Oh, background cases, okay. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Okay. So we started a new case. And yeah. Oh, can use these now. Cult goal. What kind of cult? Cult symbols. Awesome. Cult is wearing deer masks. I think that would... Okay, alright. I guess it'll go... Okay, cult goal. No? Let's just talk to someone. Where would this go, though? Wouldn't it? Maybe... Okay, I see. Cult psychology. Who's involved is the next question. And then cult goal. Okay, so I guess when I do figure these uh, things out, I could just come here and kind of progress that, okay. Um, let's see, murder at Cauldron. Alrighty. Awesome. Um, oh, yeah, 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 I do have the photos for that. Anything to learn from the body? Lots, apparently. There we go. Cause of death. I don't think that's going to go to there. Oh, never mind. It is going to go there. Okay. Okay, yeah. Ritual writing. Smudge text under the skins, uh, victim skin. I believe this would also go cause of death. Yeah. And then the heart. Okay. Cause of death. But the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Doesn't add up. And then the heart would go on the ritual writing. There we go. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Hmm. All right. So now, do we begin? Okay. No gloves or anything? I feel like... I feel like you gotta put... Oh, what the fuck? You're touching it with your bare hands. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Lady, put on some freaking gloves at least. Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't what makes me wonder is that are we like in the book that Alan Wake wrote? Or is this happening while he's writing a book? I wonder. I guess we'll find out. Oh my god, there's so many pages. What the fuck? No, 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 wait. Oh, I thought I knew him. This actually looks familiar. What the f- What the fuck? Shit just got real, son. Oh my god, what the fuck?
Jesus. Didn't see her. Could not see into bright light. What? Man, what the hell is going on here? Shit, okay, I gotta stay in the light. Oh my god, the hell my health is like so low. I need to get into the light now. I am in the light. Can I not pick up anything? Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from the safe haven while in combat, it'll be temporary unable un unavailable. Okay. Oh my god! What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna stay in the light. I think I'm supposed to move. So I, I can't. I can't. I can, he's coming from. Whoa! 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 Must be locked from the other side. Well, no sh. My gun's out in the hall. What am I supposed to do? Do what the fuck do I do? Whoa! What the fuck? Oh my god, man. Must be locked from the other side. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Okay, I was supposed to run past him. What the fuck? Vanished. He's behind. Oh my god. What the fuck? Damn. That was a great start. I'm definitely okay. I am I'm definitely going to continue to play this. Man, I'm vibing to this. Oh! Man, this... Th this has me, like, tapping my feet and shit. I kind of want to just, I want to listen to this song.
from you. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. All right, so I think I'll end uh, the first episode here. And uh, I will continue from here in the second episode.